so our next thing that we have to learn is how do you create a modern folder in uipath orchestrator for this the very first thing you click on tenant and here you have the option folders once you come here you see a plus sign new folder click on this and give some name let me give it a name let's say test and here you can provide a description and by default you would have something called tenant package feed and the second option is create a new package feed for this folder so in the tenant we have seen there is a package folder so it is referring to that so once you create this test folder it is going to receive the automation packages from the tenant in case you don't want to receive from the tenant package if you want its own feed directly to come to this you can select the second one now as a beginner let us go with the very first option let's not change any option and hit on create so once i have this test folder it will automatically appear here and also it will appear in the left hand side menu now i am going to teach you a very important concept that is called the subfolder concept and how many nested subfolders you can create is there a limit all those things we would see so to create a subfolder highlight the folder and click on this particular button add subfolder and give some name so here let me give sub or let me give a folder name called one so what happened the moment you create this folder now would have a hierarchy the test is the parent one below that there is another subfolder likewise whatever you highlight and create a subfolder and there is no limit you can keep on creating multiple subfolders under a specific one however let's say there is a folder inside that there is another folder and now if i am going to create one more folder inside one let me name it as two so now what i am trying to do i am trying to create a nested folder so what is the meaning of nested folder so when you click on the first folder you would see this subfolder once again when you click on the subfolder you see another folder so this is called nested one inside the another right that is called nested folders now let's go back once again to tenant folders and here is there a limitation so i can create multiple subfolders there is no limit but when it comes to nested folders there is a limit so what do i mean by that so if you highlight and click on add subfolder let me name it as 3 create so now i have created 1 2 3 three layers and i will highlight 3 and click on 4 and i am going to type 4 so now how many folders i have created 4 i'll highlight 4 and then type 5 click on create so you can see the button is still on i'll highlight fifth i am going to click on this add subfolder and i'm going to add one more folder called six then let me highlight the sixth folder now you can see this button has been grayed out that means you can have maximum of six nested layers okay this is the only limitation when it comes to nested one inside the other one inside the other like that so likewise you can go from the parent till the last one you can create only another six one so in total 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so total seven nested subfolders you can create okay now subfolders is there a limit for example let me create uh, here i'll say one so one we have already done so i'll create two uh, sorry i created another folder right so highlight this click on add subfolder and let me name it as two create so what happened now one was the parent and then inside under test i have created two this subfolder so likewise there is no limit you can create as many as you want so now it's 3 so i have highlighted actually you should be highlighting the test one and then create a subfolder so be mindful about what is highlighted under that it is going to create so if you go like this there is no limit do you see fifth is created let me create six six is created it will still allow you okay there is no limit when you create 
normal branching when you do there is no limit but when you go for nested folders one another the another you know one inside the other then it will only six is the limit after that it will not allow you to create more you know more layers of nest nesting okay so this is a important concept you know that would help you to understand how many nested means you would say under the parent one it is six total seven okay including the parent and is there a limit for creating normal subfolders no next nested subfolders there is a limit normal subfolders there is no limit i can create as many as i want it will allow me getting it so this is a important concept that you have now learned uh, in this chapter so for example if i type 8 or 9 or whatever it is it will still allow me to create do you see and once the folders are created let's say i want to now delete it okay so by mistake i have created this folder click on this three dots and then hit on delete so when you delete it will ask you to type that name type it and hit on delete so you can see that is gone let's say i want to delete this the test folder entirely delete it will ask you to type the name simply type it delete so now you can see if you go to the tenant layer and folder there also you will not find it and on the left side menu also you will not find that folder anymore 